Not so dramatic anymore, is it? All right, guys, here's the last scene from, oh yeah, look at the dork in the pajamas. Here's the last scene of the first thriller. I'm gonna show you guys how we did this green screen effect with the earthquake aftermath here at the end. So we're gonna put a mask around our green screen shot here and then put on our traditional key light, grab the green there, and then throw our earthquake background behind. Now we're gonna grab this and resize that. We'll scale it down by hitting S and then hit P and change the Y axis, bring it up a little bit. And then we'll adjust our key here. We'll jump in and we'll adjust our mat. We'll bring the softness up a little bit and shrink it down here by negative one so we get a little feathered edge here. And maybe a little bit more, we'll do 1.5. And, all right, let's add a curves layer here. This is how you blend these layers nicely, you know. If you really take some time, you can actually, you know, make these green screen effects look somewhat believable by just matching your color tones between the two. So I wanna put a nice daylight look on this. We're gonna add some blue. We're gonna bring up the uh, whites a little bit here in the RGB. And then we're gonna add a curves layer to our background as well, and just kind of match the highlights and shadows for both of these shots so that they look about the same. We'll add an adjustment layer here and then we'll do an overall match as well. Punch a little green in. Just so it looks believable here. You don't want to go overboard. Now let's add a new camera. 35 millimeters okay. And what I'm going to do here is we're going to put both of these 3D layers and then we're gonna punch our background back in Z space. And if you hold shift down and push that backwards, it'll go a little quicker here. And then we'll hit S and bring up the scale. And I guess, yeah, we definitely don't want these guys hanging out over here to our right there. So let's bring this over on the X axis as well. All right, now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna keyframe our camera position. Let's put a keyframe at the very beginning, go all the way to the end of our sequence, and we're gonna put a keyframe there as well. We're gonna push in here in the Z space. So what's gonna happen is our camera's gonna gradually creep in over time here. So now what we have is we have a gradual push over time. The last thing I wanna do here is we're gonna add a null object. And there's this great plugin over here from Video Copilot. It's the Aftershake Null. And we're gonna throw that on our null object here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these values down because we don't want these too high, of course, because that's you know that'd be more of an earthquake look. We just want a nice gradual handheld look on our camera. So we're gonna bring the speed down to two, let's bring the amount down to eight and then we'll bring the rotation down to two. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna parent both of the objects to our null. And what you can also do is you can add a nice motion tile here and that will make sure for when the camera does shake, you won't overstep your bounds. So now here, this is what this looks like at the end with all the color correction and all. Um, it's real easy to take a standard green screen shot with no motion add a little bit of handheld movement and push in and you have a realistic, believable shot that will sell. Camera movement on a green screen shot always helps to make it more believable.